benvenuti ho con me un uomo speciale il suo nome, il suo nome è Angangak yeah. ed è uno sciaman della Groenlandia abbiamo conosciuto qui in questo convegno in, in cui ci sono, si sono alternati personaggi estremamente importanti e questo uomo sciamano dove il suo nome vuol dire colui che assomiglia a suo zio ci dirà qualcosa di lui e, e ci dà qualche consiglio per comprendere come possiamo fare sempre di più per la nostra terra, per noi stessi, per la natura, per gli animali, per l'acqua. Thank you very much to be here. I'm so glad to be here. And uh, tell me something about you. Tell something to our friends. Um, what's who he is? Hanganga. I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. So I go to the world to look for a man. I want to find him one day, I want to meet him. The, uh, the Amarna is no different than everybody else. The, he wants to find himself. Except most will look out there. They don't look in here. So I have to learn to look in here. To, who am I? My life started a long, long time ago. And uh, it changed when I was about six, seven months old, when my grandmother took me. And then she started raising me to who I am today. And today, uh, I carry the title Angakko, which means a shaman. So, and I have no idea what shaman is, but I, I carry the title, you can see. <laughs> You're a shaman. <laughs> But what does it mean to be a shaman? The, the old people say that uh, the shaman is the one who guides. I guess in modern Italia it's the priest. Mm. That, that, what, that okay. initial job uh -huh. is okay. to, to guide you to teachings of Christ. Yeah. That's what they would do. But of course today it changed. Yes. Today they go and listen. Nobody understands, we say, ah, I'm going to go home. <laughs> yeah. That's what we do now. But in the old days, when after Christ came, his job is to guide the people. Yeah. So, to that teachings, beautiful teachings of Christ. So, that's my job to guide the people in the spirit for what they, whatever they're looking for in their spiritual quest. So, that's my responsibility. And my responsibility is also bring the ceremony to the world, M my world, and my world has become very big, yeah. I have worked in 63 countries, wow. so, so my world has grown tremendously, so my responsibility is to bring that ceremony, because my grandmother Anagasa, she says that life is a ceremony in itself, worthy celebrating with a ceremony when the ceremony loses its spirit, it becomes a ritual. And the world is full of rituals as it is. That's what she says. So, so my responsibility is not only the guiding the people to their quest for spirit, spiritual understanding, but also to bring that ceremony back to them. So they can celebrate their life in a ceremony. Your life is worth celebrating. The whole of Modena should be celebrating your life. But we, we, we don't do that anymore. Yes. We have become too busy. <laughs> that we forget the beauty of each other. So, so that's the responsibility of a shaman. That's good. And um, I want to ask you, um, 
we have a big project to try to connect many, many people to all together send a good intention mm -hmm. to the world, to the people, to the water, to the animals. And uh, in your experience of uh, in so many countries, mm -hmm. um, is there something that impresses you of the power of the group? Mm -hmm. yeah. so where is your group? All over the world? I, I like. Yeah. We, we would like. We begin from Italy, mm -hmm. but we hope that uh, step by step many people will yeah. uh, be. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm really happy that you are not repeat because uh, the very teachings I was given since I was born are very much about uh, the human you and I. We have two very powerful energies inside us. One is sexual energy, which of course sexual energy it brings the next generation. The second most powerful energy you have as a human, or people in Italy and the rest of the world, is intention. That's the second most powerful energy in every one of us, seven, more than seven billion people. That's the intention. You know, in Italy, Italia, because you're part of NATO, you are at war in Afghanistan. That war in Afghanistan was started by one person's intention. One person. All the wars we have we had in Italy, Italia, started by one person. That's the power of intentions. So, so I'm really happy that you want to find a way of lifting the spirit of people with intention. So. How to use that intention in a good way? Yeah. When you know yourself, or when I know myself, then I can use me in a good way. That's what will happen. When I do not know myself, then I will use myself not in a good way. So, so that goes for everything you and I have. So, when we put our minds together, we can create knowledge, enormous knowledge. When we put our spirit together, we can create a comprehension of what we know. We know so much, and that's what my father, because he's a scholar, he says, we know so much, we comprehend so little, yeah. but we have a lot of knowledge, so with intention we can change them. That knowledge can become living in a good way. That's the power of intention. Thank you. Yes. And I want to ask you all an articles. Uh, you spoke about um, Serum. Yes. Okay. And uh, what you can advise to us to make uh, a good uh, Serum mm -hmm. and not just a ritual. Yes. Like yes. meditation. Mm -hmm. And uh, also because also meditation is becoming a ritual if it's yeah. not made in a good way. So, which is your advice for us? When we, when we take away the spirit of what we do, it will become a ritual. And you, and you can see that. I, I've been to many countries in the world and, and they do things, nobody really knows why, but they do think that that's the way it's been done. And I, I believe Italy is not different so, than anyone else. So we do things, we don't know why, but we just do them because that's the way it's been done. So that, an act without the spirit. The spirit of course is here. It's in you. It's not out there, of course. It's in here. It, that means that it has to live in here. So, so do that. Meditation is a powerful tool to find yourself. It's what you do when you find yourself, which will make a difference. Many sit there in meditation and they do nothing. Many, many, many people sit down and pray and pray and pray and pray and pray and they do nothing. It's the act which will make the difference. Yeah. 
I come from a land where I, when I was growing up in, in, in towns there were churches I live in a small village there's no church there's no priest so I grew up with mother nature but the most beautiful church is mother nature right? the most beautiful church so I grew up there so my grandmother said let's talk to him so okay you go and get ready and she would say pray you don't know and she says here close your to your heart pray so we would lift it up and we sit there for a long time and then she says can you feel now can you feel we wait for a long time to go, nothing, nothing. But after a while, the blood will stop going up there. This is okay. Yes. It takes about five, ten minutes. Then the blood will change. Then energy will be born. Tingling. Now we talk the science to me. Yeah. It would tingle. Yeah. And she says spiritually. He is giving us something. Our prayer. He will begin to travel and we come out. This is catching your prayer. And then your prayer, when you catch it, whatever prayer you say, and you bring it back in here, then your prayer will begin to live. Okay. So, Oh, 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 oh. I can you bring it? I need to bring it. So, scientifically, what happens when you lift, you know, the blood will stop going up there and it would tingle with it need blood. And that my grandmother said, spiritually, this is a sign that the man who made us is giving what we pray for. He would give it to us. But because you and I have been so used to want what we pray for, so we take it. When you grab, grab it, you will lose it. Me, I'm very strong. I have experimented to holding somebody like that. I can do that for more than six hours. I'm very strong. I can, I can hold you for more than six hours without losing you. But after six hours, I will become tired. Then I will lose you. But I want so much to pray. I will hold it like that. And she says, don't do that. Make it come. But it, will, it will come. That energy will travel through you and it will come. And when it comes, all you need to do is to bring it and when there, when it is now there in your heart, then you go out there and work to make it living out there. Because it's already living here. You made it come. You, you catch your dream. Now you have to go and do your work to make your the prayer living. So that's a difference. That, that, that's what these old people tell us to do. And they say that this great one, he is really, 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 really big and very good. And he has many, many helpers. And funny enough, in the Christian tradition, it's called angels. <laughs> they call them yeah. angels. You know, that's his helpers. So, so, whatever you pray, they say that he is so good that he will bring it to where it belongs with stunning accuracy. That means you can pray for anything. Absolutely anything, because he's so big that he can give you anything you ask. Is how you make that living, which will make it healthy. Same thing with meditation. When you meditate, you find your balance. What you do? What do you do with that balance after your meditation? I think you just enjoy it. After meditation, finding the balance, you have to go and work. Bring your balance to life. Yeah, about your life. You have to work. That's what will make it really living. 
and you can enjoy the benefit with what you pray, yeah, what you give, you come around. Remember the circle? You will come around. So, so that's the intention the, uh, your group can do. With the intention, you can do anything. Absolutely anything. But to sit there and wait for the to happen, thing to happen, you have to go and act. You have to make a living out there. That means after the group meeting, you go and do it. That's what will make the difference. That's what we begin the process of change of everybody. Alone, you and I, we can never change the earth. Earth is very, very big and very powerful. But what you do in act, it will become like a, a pebble in the ocean. The impact of you will be felt all over the world. That's the intention. That's the intention when you work, you will become the pebble and you will travel. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Anyway, so Grazie. Grazie al nostro sciamano. Eh, se volete sapere qualcosa di più eh, riguardo lui, riguardo i suoi lavori, riguardo i suoi libri, riguardo i suoi corsi, perché spesso viene in Italia, trovate qui sotto i suoi dati, e i suoi siti e che cosa potete, dove potete trovare qualcosa di più. Anche lui ci ha confermato il potere delle intenzioni di gruppo e non ci rimane che ringraziarlo. Ci vediamo alla prossima intervista. Grazie. Oh. Thank you. Prima che di gruppo e la tua famiglia, safe, green from Hong Kong. Thank you. Okay.